Hi guys, so I was finally able to put all the parts back in and uh, there is no more leak. I tested this car, there is no more leak. So <clears throat> there are a few things that I want you to know. There are a few tips that will help you. So whenever you are putting the fuel rail with the injectors in, sit it in, make it sit in these studs and then try to rotate each just not each but just for example just one rot, ro, try to rot, rotate one of the fuel injector by finger if it rotates it means it's installed pr properly if it doesn't rotate and stuck it means that you have done something wrong that's what the factory service manual says with without installing the nuts on it when you guys let it sit in the combustion chamber and if you guys cannot rotate it, it means uh, there is something wrong. You have to take the whole thing back out and make sure it rotates freely. <clears throat> there is one uh, bolt, 5mm bolt that holds the fuel return line to the fu fuel rail. There is actually no way in, uh, no way to reach that by, because my fingers are not too 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 small and I couldn't install that for the sake of God and I tried my best I couldn't do it so I just I, I didn't install that uh, 10 millimeter bolt over there that is and it's not really a very important thing it's not like it's gonna cause any damage the only thing it does is uh, it holds this fuel return line close to the close to this uh, fuel injector rail I wasn't able to install that and when you are installing the fuel rail on the passenger side my suggestion is to remove these uh, brackets and once you remove these brackets then you can straightly I mean you can drop the fuel rail straight in here without uh, you know maneuvering it here and there and of course you have to remove this bracket uh, I've shown it to you guys in, in the previous video uh, other than that everything went smooth uh, the torque spec for uh, this uh, union bolt on both is 29 foot pounds that's the only thing you need to worry about 29 foot pound on this one and then 29 foot pound on that one and for these uh, nuts that holds the injector rail fuel rail it's the 15 foot pounds so 15 on both sides and that side and this side on the passenger side on the and on the driver side and the rest is just snug fit these are the most uh, crit critical uh, things that you guys need to worry about foot pounds. So this is 15 foot pound and this is 29 foot pound, foot pound. And this fuel dampener is also 29 foot pound, but I don't have any tool, the special service tool to know how to uh, make sure it's tight 29 foot pound. So, I just used my judgment uh, you know just guessed guessed it and once you start the car uh, check over here if there is any leak get it tight and uh, check the fuel rail look for leaks and everything should be fine if it leaks stop the car immediately otherwise it's gonna catch fire because mine was leaking pretty bad and actually it was just a stroke of good luck that it didn't catch fire and i'm not sure for how long it was leaking it was leaking all over this uh intake you know this right here you now it's completely dry let me start the car Actually, I can start it from, from here instead of going in there.
you guys remove these these are actually stamped labeled you guys won't mix it up it says front right rear right it has all these stamped on it then it says front left and rear left so if you are trying to remove or place the injector rail back in there uh, please remove these two at least on this side not on the driver side but on the passenger side i hope you guys uh enjoy this uh see you in the next one bye